Let me tell you something uncomfortable. So most topper interviews are unrelatable because they do not tell you when they started seriously. They do not tell you what they stopped doing and they don't tell you how confused they were initially. So today I will not give you any motivation. I will just give you some evidence and I will tell you how the top students I know they actually prepared including a student who cleared IAT, J Advanced, NEET, IACS and all with top 1% ranks. So if you are in class 11th or 12th, PCM or PCB, comment down your stream because this video is for you. And I know you are chasing clarity, not comfort. And before I talk about ranks, let me say this very clearly. That students I'm going to talk about, uh, they do not start at, as a genius. They do not wake up at 4 a.m. every single day and they do not study 14 hours every day. In fact, when that particular student came to us, he had the same problem most of you have right now. Too many exams, too many opinions of people and zero confidence that he was doing the right things. I am talking about a student named Cyan, whose rank in ISER aptitude test was 213. J Advance he had 1582. NEET he scored 207 and IACS with All India rank 5. Now here is the part that matters. Cyan was not preparing separately for all these exams. He was enrolled in a year-long Siesta batch. And his serious preparation started in winters. Yes, October and November. Not class 9th, not Olympiads from childhood. Winter months, October and November. And what separated Cyan from others was not effort. It was structure. While other students I saw, they were switching teachers, they were uh, jumping onto books, chasing important questions. Cyan followed one system for entire year or six to eight months he had. So mentors were same, feedback loop was same, expectations were same. He never asked, how many hours do I need to study? He asked, did I execute the plan today? Did I do those 50 questions, 100 questions? And that is not motivation, that is discipline and professionalism the same professionalism that you would be needing if you want to secure your career. Now here is something Cyan did. He did not solve 10 physics books. He just mastered one, one book multiple times. And each time he went deeper. And that's the key idea that the same book that other students maybe do not touch saying that it can be too tough or out of syllabus. And that is why we insist on mastering books at Siesta because rank does not come from touching many books one time. It comes from dominating one book multiple times. And Cyan did not chase novelty. He was more about depth. Every time he read the book, he went into deep uh, of each subject and chapter. So Cyan never prepared for exams individually. Like I said, he was prepared for thinking. And the physics that he studied for IAT was the same physics that helped him in J Advance and IACS and eventually secured ranks of All India 5 and 1500, which is not easy. And the biology and chemistry he studied was not memorization based. It was concept first. He did not ask, is this just for NEET or research? He did not created a boundary, right? He just asked himself, do I understand this well enough to explain it in any exam I'm going to appear? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's called overlap thinking. And that is how one preparation helps you clear multiple exams. And here is something very important. So not every student is signed on day one. Some students come to us late. Some students are very broken. Some are uh, tense, anxious and scared. And uh, let's if, if we pretend that everyone is advanced, it destroys confidence. So I'm not going to do that. But that is why we created the Kalam batch. And Kalam is not for showing off intelligence. It's for rebuilding the fundamentals with your dignity and confidence. And I have seen more than 300 students from Kalam right now. They started slow, they gained clarity, and they are now outperforming students who started earlier, but never fixed their basics. So late is not the problem. Unstructured late is the problem, right? So if you're starting late, but want to start right, comment, I am ready. And let me tell you something as someone who has already watched this for more than five years. So the month of December is when topples are decided. Yes, not loudly, not emotionally. They just lock a system and they stop experimenting. And this is the time you cannot experiment. Other students, they just wait for January, February, March, motivation or bold results or confidence. But by then momentum is gone. You don't have enough time. And Cyan as well did not wait for motivation. He just trusted the process very early. 
and if there is one thing I want to take this from this video, it's this. Top students are not special, they are decisive and they don't chase everything, they just commit to something that works. If you are in class 11th or 12th, comment your class and share this video with one friend who is confused and want to choose clarity over chaos because exams don't reward efforts, they reward your direction and how well you're able to solve those 15 questions in one hour or those 60 questions in three hours with precision and accuracy and your whole mindset. 300 students in Kalam batch inculcating with the personal mentorship, mastering books, mock test series, and everything that is available on Syastra application, the link to which is given in the description. You can check out. I would highly recommend you subscribe Syastra English for every single update, strategy videos related to IAT, NEST, J Need. If you want something else from me, anything that you want, let me know in the comment. I'm here as your elder brother and not as a teacher or somebody from outside because I have been into that same zone where you are right now. I was also confused. I was also frustrated. Eventually, I ended up clearing nicer all research exams and everything you aspire to. And right now, I'm here to help you out if you need. With that, all the very best. See you in the next video.